Let's talk about the two new weapons coming out in Genshin, the Sword of Homa and the Bow of Homa. The Mist Splitter's Reflection and Thundering Pulse. These weapons look completely insane with their high base attack and the fact that they're both crit damage is fantastic. I've been waiting for crit damage weapons for so long. We've been patient and our patience paid off. So first, let's talk about Miss Splitter's Reflection. I have no doubts that Ball has committed some war crimes with this weapon, back when she preferred the sword. Catching, Kazuha, and future Ayaka mains everywhere are working overtime to get this masterpiece. Would you see 60 or Bennett or level up your Chongyin for these? Because I've honestly considered doing it. This looks like it will be good on Permafreeze Kaya with Chongyun on the team. In theory, this could be sub DPS Albedo's best in slot weapon. Practically speaking, you'll only be able to gain two stacks for Clayboy, but that's still just going to be tons of damage, like an insane amount. You can even main DPS Chi Chi for the memes. There's just so many applications and uses for this sword. It will be the best in slot for most main DPS and sub DPS uses especially that main DPS Chi Chi. I wouldn't necessarily say this is power creep, but yeah, it's kind of power creep. With the highest base attack and crit damage subset, you can just stop right there, drop your Aquila Favonias and Harbinger of Dawns. Now the Thundering Pulse has the same stats as the Mist Splitter, but not the same numbers at it. The rule by Thunder effect procs differently than Mist Splitter's effect but it's not far off as the effects are both fairly similar. The max base attack isn't the highest at 608 and the max crit rate is 66.2 so maybe this makes up for the lower base attack. We also don't have many characters that can take advantage of this weapon. It's very amazing but it's still not Ganyu's best in slot. This weapon is literally a heavy machine gun while Ganyu needs a rocket launcher aka the ammo bow. This weapon is better suited for Yoimiya, Fischl, Tartalia, especially if you have C6 Tart. Now let me go into some detail about it. Note that this weapon says casting, not damaging an enemy with elemental skill. So for Tartalia, you will only get the skill stack from the initial casting of his skill. The Riptide procs will not refresh this stack as it is an elemental skill damaging the enemy, not a cast of your skill but that won't matter too much if you have a C6 tart. Just shut off his skill and recast it again for another 10 seconds of agonizing pain on your enemies. Use this weapon on any of your machine gun archer characters for maximum effect. The Skyward Harp still has its place and is universal, but this will take the crown as the new best weapon. For burst support child, Skyward Harp is definitely better. For main DPS child, this bow is better because it will do way more damage on auto attacks while still doing great burst damage due to the 66% substat. The small damage loss on bursts is largely compensated by the 40% damage increase on the auto attacks. So my last few thoughts on these weapons. With the Thundering Pulse, each stack increases your normal attack damage, not your overall damage. This bow is going to be powerful on characters who normal attack. Still, the fact that they're both crit damage will cover you quite nicely. Consider these weapons, yes, but as always, please go for the characters before weapons. It will keep the game refreshing. Alright, thank you guys. Um, that's about it for my thoughts and general ideas for um, the Miss Splitter's Reflection and Thundering Pulse. If you like this video, please consider liking and or subscribing. Alright, peace.